Hello, good afternoon, YouTube. It has been maybe two weeks since our last video, so I wanted to keep up to date. Today's video is how to start a recruiting business from home. Now, why are we talking about this one? Well, this was somebody commented, they messaged me recently, they were very curious, they heard about my background and wanted me to make a video on this. So this is going out to a special commentator. So we're gonna be talking about how to start a recruiting agency um, and some big things we're gonna talk about today, kind of three main areas. Number one, your first steps, first steps to look at, what to take, how to do it. Number two is how to find clients. How do you find clients, which is kind of the name of the game. And number three, what tools do you need to make your life a lot easier? And as always, I'm always got something, some kind of beverage. Uh, it is turning into winter right now. It's gonna be Halloween coming up soon. And my birthday as well, which is gonna be awesome. So we got some bone broth for breakfast, really. Um, so let's talk about recruiting agency and a little bit about me in case this is your first video, first uh, to the channel. Welcome, welcome new people. So I've been a recruiting manager for about over a decade now. And uh, I have worked in some of the largest recruiting agencies in the world. I've also done international agencies. I used to recruit um, in a few different countries internationally for people coming into that country as well as going out to other international countries. So, um, And I've also been an internal recruiter for companies. And I've also had my own recruiting agency. So I've done the full desk. And I get reached out sometimes to actually be a consultant for new ATS systems or new softwares for recruiters. Um, so I definitely know the industry very, very well, but there's always room for improvement. I'm not perfect, but I definitely know a lot more than the average person. Uh, so talking about that, this is a, a special one because I know recruiting is becoming more and more popular right now. I've definitely seen a rise. Uh, I'm getting reached out right now to be a consultant. Uh, a lot of people are asking for one-on-one -on -one coaching occasionally, um, which is great. That's fine. So let's talk about some first steps. First steps that you should do if you're thinking about having your own agency and you're wondering where to start, this is what I would recommend you do. Number one is you want to look in your own community. You want to look in your own physical proximity, um, in your own hometown, in your county, in your city. What are, number one, competitive analysis. You want to know what your competition and you want to know if there's an actual need for another recruiting agency out there. You can definitely carve out something for yourself, but we want to first see if there's like, is it too saturated? Is there not enough? You want to make sure there's a demand first before you meet, you meet, you know, uh, is there a demand before you meet the supply? So first I would definitely say, do a competitive analysis, know your competitors, see who's your competition locally, um, as well as kind of like a wider radius. Who's your competition in, uh, online? Okay, so start with that one. And that's very easy with just Googling recruiting agencies or you know recruiters kind of in your local area. The next thing is, what are the actual trends in your community? Okay, you're not gonna really hear this anywhere else. I've heard a lot of people say they know it um, and maybe their stuff works, which is great. Uh, this is just my recommendations and take it from me, I've been able to, to do it, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, usually there's major industries or trends in each community. You know, so for example, I live in San Diego, big military town, uh, bio, um, uh, clinical research, medical device, uh, biotech is also another area. So you want to be looking at what are the big macro industries in your area that are always hiring. Okay. That's number one. You also want to see what are the trends right now? What are, is everybody kind of going into? What are the soon the industries that are beginning to kind of get an uptick? Okay, that's your second thing you want to be start looking into. And number three was the market for back office people. There's always a need for people to have accountants um, or salespeople or IT people, people that every company kind of needs to have, right? They're always going to need somewhat back office people to help facilitate the company. So you want to have a balance of people, of candidates that are both uh, what industries are most popular, which ones are trending. Now there's an argument for niche, which is definitely uh, worth looking into. What are the areas that nobody's tackling that there's definitely hiring for? Okay, you want to start getting a sense. So if the first step, 
You want to do a competitive analysis, know the competition within the area, and the second step is know what areas are actually in demand right now, okay? That is really your first step. You don't want to do all this other work until you know that there's actually a business model that there's a need, okay? There has to be a need. If there's no need, they're not going to need you. So that's your first steps, okay? Um, there's a lot one going on after that. I would say beyond that is find your first client. I wouldn't set up anything else until I had my first client, personally. I think a lot of people are wasting their time because um, they're like they're getting all these candidates. A lot of people are just getting candidates, getting candidates, getting candidates, and then they have no client. Get the client first, then get the candidates. And the client doesn't have to be big. You don't need the biggest Fortune 500 company. You can have a client be a one-person company. And uh, I've done that. And they, still pay, and they still pay, as long as they sign the fee agreement. So make sure you get that too. So second thing is, how do you find clients? How do you find clients? There's a lot of different ways. I mean, I could make hours of videos on how to find good clients. But easiest ways starting off is number one, your war market. What is your warm market? Your warm market is people who you already know that you've already like, if you've worked this job before this and you have people in that network, that's your warm market. If there's people in an alumni association, um, you know, a CrossFit group, by the way, yeah, I got clients from just going to the gym. That's how easy it can be. But you want to definitely have clients first from your warm market, people that are already in your association, in your peer group. Um, and just by word of mouth, because they already know who you are. Right? And it's okay to be honest with them. I'm just starting out, getting my feet wet. I'm looking to help other companies with their staffing and to build their business from the inside out. Uh, do you have a need? Would you like to talk maybe sometime next week? Or do you know somebody else that would need uh, someone like me? Right? That's the other thing. Your warm market and your referrals. It's not just who you know, who you know it's who they know as well. And uh, that's super essential. So warm market... Referrals of those warm markets. If you're drilling like cold sourcing, cold sourcing being like finding other clients online, um, there's the basic techniques and very advanced techniques. Um, advanced techniques I usually teach only to one-on-one -on -one coaching or people that want to like talk to me um, and get that extra help and extra emphasis. But it's some basic ones. I mean, LinkedIn is obviously very, very basic. You can find a bunch of CEOs uh, online at, uh, as well as like certain department heads. You also can find through Yelp, and very simple t uh, thing is to you can use Google, you can use Yelp. What are the new businesses that just added themselves to Yelp or Google? That's a good indicator because nobody's really talked to them yet. So finding out who just really actually like joined um, Google Business, Google Maps, um, and there's ways to set up the automation so you find out which ones have just added. Uh, those are really great companies to look at. Um, going to like places like WeWork or a um, co-op type business setting where everybody's like shared office, you can meet a lot of people very quickly. And I've done that where I've gone into a WeWork situation and I got to talk to seven different clients at the same time and making myself known before I was going to get there. If they're looking for staffing needs, how do they do that? So little things like that. Craigslist, um, I know there's talk about how to do that. You can put ads, you can do... Um, the most common thing when you like start in a uh, recruiting agency, by the way, is you're calling actual job ads, job ads that pop up and you're just calling the company directly and you're cold calling them and seeing if there's a need. And it's like, hey, we got somebody, we have them at this price, you know, we'd love to talk and we, we can either see if it's a fit for now or the future and talking to them directly that way. So that's another thing. And I'm talking fast because I'm just like, as soon as I start like, you know, get mo, you know, uh, get momentum, like all the ideas start coming back again. All right, so we talked about first steps, what you're going to do. I would do those first steps before you, everybody talks about, should I set up an LLC? Should I have the ATS there? Should I have all these other things? Start, start getting candidates. No, do your competitive research. Find out if there's an actual need in your area and stick to your area. There's, you know, a lot of people are like, I get business development recruiters contacting me from like another country. And yeah, you can make a business that way, but when you're starting out, start within your local community. You're making your life way too hard if you're doing all this international stuff. Start locally, okay? Start locally, 
Second thing, we talked about how to find clients. Start with your warm market, then you go to cold sourcing. Number three, what tools? What tools do you need? There's a lot of tools. There's so many tools. I mean, there's a million applicant tracking systems or ATSs out there. Um, I think I've used six in, in my career, um, but they all pretty much do the same thing. There's pros and cons with each, at all, obviously. But here are some big tools that I would recommend having. Number one, yes, have your ATS system. Make a list of ATSs, 10 ATSs, that fit within your budget range, that fit within your, your model of your company. If it's just you, um, right, very easy to you know think about like if I need one, but you wanna plan for having that maybe two to four other recruiters under you in the next year. So look at ATSs that have about, you know they can fit about five to 10 employees, check that out first. Make a list of 10, contact each, do a demo each, and, and see which one fits into what you wanna get out of it, okay? Do the demo. The demos are always free. They're always going to sp spend 30 minutes. It's worth it so you know what's going to be working for your business for over a two-year span. So that's number one, ATS. Number two, templates. Templates, templates, templates. You want to start doing things that are going to automate the system, okay? Automation's key. Um, you know, I mean, thought it was a major when I found out this really cool hack on automation. I won't get into it because that one is very advanced, but... Yeah, if you can figure out ways that can shave off an hour, two hours a day of productivity, oh my God, you can reinvest that time into other areas. And it's very, very key. And usually it's about lead generation for clients. Um, so have templates. If you don't know what templates, email me. And I will provide you with a list of templates that I use, um, as well as that I found that I've, other companies have used that I know is very, very helpful and will yield you more results. So templates, have a list of templates, have a template toolbox. Number two, have an ATS that you know is going to actually add value. You don't wanna be creating work for yourself. You want it to keep you organized, okay? And number three, if this is your first time seeing this video, you're not gonna know what I'm talking about. Um, but there's a software I use. This is more on yourself, okay? In order to build a business, you need to change yourself first. Okay, that you need to change. You need to develop systems in yourself. You need to develop your communication. You need to develop your work ethic. You need to also stop self-sabotaging behaviors. Okay, there is a tool that I use called TechnoTutor. I've used it for the last year. Using this, I didn't change anything. Using this one tool was able, I, I was able to double my income, my pay, everything in one year. Um, it's true though, it's pretty crazy. And the guy who we, you know, he was a, when I met him, we started talking about it. He's actually done better than I have. He's made like something crazy, like a quarter million dollars, I think in e-commerce. Um, but what it does is it actually removes self-sabotaging, limiting beliefs, okay? And it increases your positive habits. This is such a great tool. It will increase success in area, any area you want. You're not gonna find it anywhere you're gonna have to message me like like there's no links for it you're gonna have to message me if you want to find out what it is and um and if you don't want to talk about that's fine we can talk about recruiting i love to talk about recruiting or sales or entrepreneurship or anything um but i would really do recommend this tool it's going to increase your life once i started using this this actually got me my best client okay use this use templates Use your ATS system and you will take your business to the next level, okay? If you really wanna replace, I mean, if, if you wanna replace your nine to five job, you know, I would, you know, reach out to me. I'll show you a few tools that have worked for me. If you want to make more money, I would definitely do that as well. If you want to just basically like change your life because we all want change. We all wanna change for the better. And we're, I mean, a lot of people, they're sick and tired of being sick and tired, which I know is why they're looking at a recruiting agency that's kind of the answer. And there's a few subtle techniques in there. If you want something completely different, if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching where I can train you a little bit more custom, reach out to me as well. I will include my contact details in the description below. Anyway, I hope this helps. Those are some good first steps to getting your feet wet in the world of recruiting agencies. Um, and we'll see how this video does. You know, if, it, if, if people like it, I'll make some more of them. Um, usually I, I, I rarely talk about the recruiting agency unless it's like a paid consultancy. 
because that's usually my job uh, or my career, I guess. But I'm kind of like, I'll start helping out a few people if there's a strong approach. So like, subscribe. If you uh, have some comments or questions, feel free to reach out and I will talk to everyone soon, okay? Cheers.